Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Ryan, and I am here today with a little interview kind of video. I made up a couple of questions for my girlfriend, Courtney, to answer about, uh, you know, what it's like to be dating a trans man who is kind of in the beginning of a transition. So here is the lovely Courtney answering my questions. Hey guys, it's Courtney, Ryan's girlfriend, and he asked me to answer some questions for you guys about what it's like to date a trans person. So, um, all, he wrote all of these questions. I've never seen them before this moment, so I hope you guys enjoy. So the first question is, were you together before he transitioned? And the answer is yes, we've been dating for two and a half, no. We were dating for just over two years before he, um began his transition, so uh, that's quite a long time before the transition. Um, the second question is, did you know he was transgender before he came out to me? Um, the answer to that is yes and no. I don't really think that you can know that kind of thing until the person actually comes out and says it to you. I think you can have your intuitions or your inklings, but you never know something until the person confirms it for you. So in that sense, yes, I definitely had a couple inklings that maybe he was not truly um, female, which is the sex he was assigned at birth. Was it difficult to switch names and pronouns? It actually wasn't. Ryan is not the first trans person that I know. One of my dear friends in high school was transgender, is transgender, um, so this is not something new for me. So having that practice not even a year before Ryan would um, transition was super great for me and all of my friends, even my parents. <laughs> um, so it's it was very easy and very simple to switch for him. Um, the next question is, how do you feel about his transition? I love his transition. I'm so excited and happy for him. For me, anything that makes him happy makes me happy. So I'm so glad to see him really coming into his own. I mean, it sounds, um, I guess, crazy, but even for him being out for such a short amount of time, the more people he tells, the more he passes, things like that, like just seeing the excitement and seeing how much happier, happier he is, like he's almost like a different person because he is so much happier and so much comfortable in his skin and I think that is just amazing. So I absolutely love the transition and I love seeing him get to be himself. Um, What has been the most challenging or difficult thing for me regarding his transition? Um, you know, I think it's kind of the reverse of what I just said. Um, seeing him maybe not pass to certain people and having issues with coming out to people and telling people and things like that, you know, it's it's really sad for me to see that because it's like, like, he's so happy and then all of a sudden something like that happens and it just breaks his heart. So that has been the most challenging thing. I really just wish I could go to everyone in the world and say, he's a guy, his name is Ryan, like, please don't misgender him because misgendering is such a painful experience for anyone that for anyone not even for just trans people you know what I mean so um that's been the most challenging thing is having to deal with the more emotional side for him um is our relationship different now and how so I think our relationship definitely is different first of all him being happier him really being himself um you know that changes everything that changes how you interact that changes what you talk about you know now we're really just able to enjoy our life and talk about our life and do the, that kind of stuff. So that's really been like a huge improvement um, in our relationship. And I think also there are things that are kind of different about Ryan. You know, he is extremely chivalrous. Chival I can never say the word. Chivalrous. And I think that was a thing before the transition, but just not to the extent it is now. You know, just he's such a gentleman and stereotypically. Um, and he's just like he's so confident and he's so happy and he's just himself all the time there's never a moment where i turn around when he's not smiling when he's not being his true and authentic self and i think that does change the relationship a lot no he is not a different person but he is a better version of himself which is still something you have to get used to you still have to get used to someone being happier and being better um the next question is, how do you feel about him going on testosterone? I'm so excited for him to go on T. I know it's something that he wants so badly, and so I would just love to see that happen for him as soon as it can. Um, 
yeah, I'm super excited. We have this running joke that maybe he might grow a half an inch or so, which would be great because he's about eight or nine inches shorter than me and I always wear super high heels, so he's always so much shorter than me, so that would be pretty great, but um, our expectations are pretty low on that. <laughs> Um, what are you looking forward to in his transition? I think I'm actually really looking forward to the end um, of his transition. I think everyone is in the world when they know someone that's trans, they want to see the end result. Um, I'm just excited to see him be his true and full transition self and really get to be with Ryan um, fully. I also am just excited for him for when he gets on tea, which should be in the soon to near future because I again like I said in the previous question I know that's something we're both really looking forward to and something that's really going to make his life 20 times better as far as passing and things like that um what are you looking forward to oh I'm sorry I can't read what are you not looking forward to in his transition I'm not looking forward to the surgeries um just because they are a little scary I know there's something that he wants I know there's something that I want for him um, you know, but any time a loved one goes under the knife for an extended period of time is very scary. Um, on top of that, the funding for these surgeries is very expensive, so if he does pursue surgery, that's going to be something that is a little scary. What is my opinion on top surgery and bottom surgery? So I kind of like touched upon that. I'm very supportive of both. I think, you know, it's you want to do what makes you comfortable in your body. If you're comfortable in your body and you don't need surgery, that's amazing. If you're comfortable in your body but you want top surgery, that's great too. You know, and the same with the um, bottom surgery. I know that they're scary. I don't really, you know, I wish that that wasn't uh an option that you could be so like i'm trying to like think about i wish that you could just go in a machine and like the machine would just like just take this parts and put them over there and put these parts and put them there and then it would be done and, like surgery wasn't a thing because surgery does really scare me um quite a bit and um i'm definitely not looking forward to that like i said before having him be in such a long procedure outfit change um I actually filmed like the whole video and then I realized that it didn't record because my phone is being a butt so <laughs> let me just film the rest of this my friend did go through top surgery and love the result it went extremely well so that is something that gives me a lot of confidence about him potentially Ryan potentially pursuing surgery as well um and the last question was just what advice do you have for significant others and people dating um trans men I just think being absolutely supportive is the most important thing um do your research I'm sorry people are praying frisbee so I'm trying to get through this because that's distracting um but do your research so that um, you really know what they're talking about and you can help them make educated decisions, especially if you're the only support system in their life. Um, and don't force anything on them if they don't want top surgery, if they don't want bottom surgery, if they don't even want to take tea. That is totally them. So don't force what your opinions of gender identity and what it means to be a certain gender and what that looks like don't push that on them at all um and just be really open to conversation i think this goes for both parties the significant other and the trans person you know just try and be open if there's something making you uncomfortable you should be able to ask and go to your significant other um in this example the trans person trans person you should be able to go i can't speak english but you should be able to go to the trans person and talk to them about anything and everything and if it's uncomfortable for them that's really not um you know, I understand things are going to be uncomfortable, but you really need to try and answer questions and try and be there and support on both ends, um, because it is a big switch for both people. Um, and also, you know, just if you think something is going to come out offensive, just, you know, pardon my ignorance, um, don't mean to be offended, offending, you know, just throw that in there before you ask the question. And if it is something that you're really not okay with answering questions to your significant other about, like, you should tell them that almost immediately. They need to know that almost immediately so that they know to go and try and research things. But I think having a conversation is really the most important thing. And being able to go to Ryan whenever I have a question or if I want to make sure that I'm doing good and that I'm supporting him in the way that he needs, 
you know, we do have a very open dialogue, so I think that's super important, just an open dialogue and full support. Your love for them should not change based on their gender, um, it should be exactly the same. So thank you guys so much for watching, I hope this was educational and helpful for people on both sides of the situation, whether you are the trans person or you are the significant other. If you guys have more questions, please leave a comment or contact Ryan in whatever ways he normally has you guys contact him. And I would love to answer more questions for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye. Thank you so much, Courtney, for answering these questions, and thank you guys so much for watching these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos from me, and subscribe to Courtney's channel for more videos of her. Thank you guys so much. Bye.